What's up guys? Welcome back to another video of Ant Will Plays. Today we are playing Blades of Light and Shadow from Choices. Um last episode, last chapter. My god. Who was the elf guy again? That elf guy appeared and I don't know what what he wants. But we're going to see. Oh and I'm hoping we get I'm every chapter I'm hoping we get some more time with Mia. What was it, Nia? I'm pretty sure it's Nia. Anyway, let's continue. The forces of the Shadow Court have infiltrated the city. There's only one way out. By sea. What, do we have to swim or take a boat? Oh, uh, we'll see. I have a strong feeling it was near. Blades of light and shadow. Why is it called blades of light and shadow? I don't. I don't get it. Oh. Also, um. Open heart is coming back. It's coming back. Um. In two weeks, so. On a Saturday. So yeah, you guys are gonna have. And I don't have work on that Saturday, so you guys are in for a treat. You guys, schedule's gonna be tough again, like I did with um, a Big Sky Country too. So let's begin. Chapter s Chapter Four: Escape at Sea. You stare in shock at the at the mayor's dead body blood pulling from his neck as his severed head rolls away his men stagger to their feet crossbows raised run running def running definitely running oh i was right it's nia i keep getting the name mixed up it's nia not mia it's nia you grab mal and nia and tear off through the darkened streets of port par oh no she's after the elf Three clings to your shoulder. The city guards are hot on your heels. Stop! Mother of us! Yo sprints down her narrow alleys and at breakneck speed, armor glinting in the moonlight. Soon, elegant buildings turn to rough wooden tenements. Uh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I, I don't mean to be rude. You end up on a narrow road deep in the city's slums. Suddenly, a group of guards runs around a corner ahead of you and aims their crossbows. Stop right there. This is your last chance. Mm. You can't get us if you can't see us. There are two empty crates and lob them at the guards. The crates splinter in their faces, obscuring their view and making them stumble. Uh, don't let them get away. Too late for that. The elf sends a flare of dark energy at the guards, blasting off, letting them off their feet. As you can, as, as you, your companion, and your companions dash past them, he nods at you. Good thinking. Thank you. Hurry, we can hide inside here. You dash into, into an abandoned tenement building and run for the far wall where you crouch in the shadows with your companions. Three flutters his wings anxious. As lovely as this abandoned slum is, we need to think of a more permanent solution. Shh, someone's coming. Someone's coming. Several steps, several sets of footsteps approach the tenant and a figure blocks out the light in the doorway. You flinch as he yells out, Keep searching the streets. I'll check the buildings. As the rest of the, of the guards clatter away, this one, this one takes a tentative step inside, raising his lantern high. You hold your breath, certain he can hear the thunder of your heart. But his light doesn't quite reach you, and he turns and heads back out into the alleyway. Wait for the guards' shout to fade before whirling on the elf. So... Your help is greatly appreciated and all, but who are you? 
You can call me Tyrell. Tyrell or Tyrell? Hmm. Of House Starfury. Oh, that's just great. A stuck-up elf noble. Who just saved your hides. That remains to be seen. A Nesper? How? I thought... Hey, we're asking the questions here. What in the three... Happened back there? Have you been following us? Tyrell glares at Mal before turning his attention to his blade, studying the edge for a nix. I've been hunting. Seeking out those who've who fall under the influence of the court shadow court. You know about the shadow court? He gives her a look that could was don't be deaf. Nia yeah, opens her mouth to snap at him, but he doesn't give her the chance. My hunt brought me to Port Parna Parnassus, where I've been tailing this city's mayor. He is was deeply corrupted. Mm. Doesn't explain why you're helping us. Whoever said anything about helping you? The corrupted mayor was my target, and I dealt with him. You happen to be bystanders. Oh, great. So I guess if you're not helping us, you can just get up and leave, then. Say hi to the city guards as you pass by. By all means, if you'd rather fend for yourselves against the court, I'll let leave you well alone. Though it'll be your heads rolling next time. Why are you so hostile? All I want to know is why you're helping us. Will's hand clenches around the hilt of his blade, and he lets out a long, frustrated breath. When he speaks again, his voice is so curt. I've seen the Shadow Court corrupt enough innocent people. I will not stand idly by and allow them to do more harm if I can stop it. That is all I will say. After a tense moment, Mal speaks up. So, this mayor was trying to frame us as murderers. As murderers? Was under orders from the Shadow Court. He looked human, mostly. The boundaries between our worlds are thinning, weakening. The court uses the shards to reach, reach out to the greedy, to the cruel, to the weak-minded, and seduces them to their will. So they could have agents everywhere. The real scowls at as he receives his blade. Not for long. The real question is, why is the Shadow Court after you? Who are you, and how did you come across us a Nesper? You recount your entire journey to him, and watch as his expression grows increasingly serious, which you wouldn't have thought possible. Which brings us to where we are now. On a quest to recover the remaining shards and bring them to White Tower for purification. It would seem our journeys are linked then. Wherever the shards are, those under their influence are sure to be close by. I'll accompany you on your hunt for the shards, but I won't let you slow me down. Oh, that's wonderful. We could use some assistance, as you probably notice. Hang on. Us? Slow you down? You're the one murdering your way across the realms. We just want the shards. T Tyrell's hand rests menacingly on the hilt of his blade. Those two far consumed by the shadow's corruption have to die. They're already husk puppets of darkness. I'm not doing the, them a kindness. Not that I expect you to understand that. No, he is right. Mal, Mal, we have n we had no idea the mayor had been corrupted until it was too late. Tyrell knows we're up knows what we're up against. Not that not only is that invaluable, it'll keep us a lot safer. I'll do whatever I can to aid you until the shadow court is dealt with. You have my word. Mal glowers at Tyrell. 
a moment longer, and you practically feel the air crackling between them before Mal slices his gaze at you. You better be sure about this, Anthony. It's your brother who's, whose fate hangs in the balance, after all. You think I don't know that? Every choice I make is with make is with Kate in mind. Mel lets out a weary sigh, wearing a hand through his hair. Great. Keeps got one more member, but that'll be worth nothing if we don't get out of uh, town and uh, town and real quick. We're wanted murderers now. I can find us a smuggler, no problem. But for hot merchandise, such as ourselves, it's going to take a whole lot of coin. Tyrell shrugs and, with a jingle of metal, takes out a bulging pouch. Pouch. Mouse stares at it. Entrance. He starts to reach for it, but Tyrell pulls it back. Yeah, like that much coin. Actually, if you have another pouch like it, find us a safe patches out of your scoundrel. Our lives depend on it. Surely that's worth something, even to you. We're stuck with you, aren't we? For now. For now. Tyrell has joined the party. The mage. Spent the night hiding out in the abandoned building, lying low as guards comb the streets outside. And the next morning, when the coast is clear, Mal leads you to a rickety-looking ship a on a secluded dock. An old sailor approaches. Garhart, are you old salty cot? It's been far too long. Not long enough. You are bringing me more trouble, are you? I would never. Just a few friends of mine in need of safe, of safe patches on the Sun Maiden of all. Is all. Gerhard's gaze darts suspiciously from Tyrell standing with his arms crossed hardly, to near gaping around at the ship to you. Who exactly are you not? We're not to be trifled with. We've cracked skulls a lot tougher than yours, so I suggest we take the gold and you take the gold we are offering. You nod at Mal and notice even he looks a little intimidated as he shows Gerhard a pouch filled with Tyro's gold. You look back at Ger and stay out of our business. <laughs> all right, all right. Suit yourself. If you're really that determined to board this old thing, gold, you know, it plays tricks on the memory. Makes me forget faces entire. Uh, excuse me, again. Entire conversations, conversations even. An entire ship ride. Well, that takes a fair amount of it. More than a stock's worth. But I'm sure I, or we can come to some agreement. And you have your you have your offer. The deal's only to get worse for you the more the more you haggle. Bernard gives a long suffering sigh as he looks at Mel. You really know how to pick them, don't you? Fine. I'll take you lot. But if they cause trouble, it's on you. Mel grimaces and hands over the heavy pouch of gold. That's more like it. To shimmering isles, mates. What? We're headed for we're headed for, for a flotilla, not some... Your heart er, turns on her with a scowl. Flotilla? The orc pirate city? You're out of your mind, young lady. Only a madman would head for the... Head for flotilla. On purpose. But that's where we're... But that's where we need to go. I'll always side with Nia. Because apparently it's the right choice to go. We're going to Flotilla. All you have to do is drop us off and you be on your way. We gave you an, 
be more than enough gold for that. Last I checked, I was the captain of this ship, so the decision's mine. No use having gold if I'm if I'm too dead to use it. You don't understand. Gained flotilla is a matter of life and death for us. Mal steps in front of you, you and Nia, an ancient grin plastered onto his face. The Shimmering Isles will do just fine, Captain. We'll make we'll make our way from there. But trust me on this, please. Fine, get on board before I change my mind. Right. We're supposed to be heading fl to Flotilla because the orcs took all the books from a library in the last chapter. And now we have to get them back in order to find the next shard. So, so that's going to be hard to do. Mal ushers your group aboard the Sun Maiden, and, and as as Gerhard's crew prepares to cast off, he pulls you all aside and lowers his voice. Here's the deal: no captain's going to take us. Here's the deal: no captain's going to take us to Flotilla. Fort, for, for, for. Here's the deal: no captain's going to take us to Flotilla. Fortunately, the Shimmering Isles are close by. We could take our own boat from there. And I suggest being less open about our business from the from now on. The Shadow Court's agents could be everywhere. You there! Stop! Stop that schooner! Or just or just your average just clueless city guards. As Grenard crew unflurs the sails and raises raises anchor, city guards rush the docks toward the ship. You and your companions hunger out of sight. Wait! Will you desert your ship? There are known fugitives in this city who may be looking to escape by sea. Sorry, lads. It's just me and my, me and my crew on board. Clear skies to you. Gunhart tip, tips his hat, and the Sun Maiden lurches forward, wind snapping into the open sail. As the docks of Port Parters retreat into the distance, Gunhart walk, or walks past your hiding place and cuts his eye. Eyes toward Mal. You'll owe me extra for that. I always do. And so many sets course to the, for, shimmy, for the Shimmering Isles, gliding effortlessly across the Torres Sea. As night starts to fall, you and your companions head below deck. Captain Gerhardt said we can all share the stateroom. I wonder what it looks like you you all squeeze inside the cramped room barrels and baskets clutter the walkways between the few benches and a one bunk bed you sure you heard stateroom he didn't say storage room did he well isn't this just cozy nia nia anthony i guess you two get the bunks Tyrell and I will, we will take the floor. Tyrell crosses his arms and glowers at Mal from beside the, the crate. And what gives you the authority to make my decisions for me? You're saying you want to kick Nia, a kick Nia, a priestess of light, off her bunk just so you can get a good night's sleep? Nia stops climbing halfway the ladder. Up the ladder of the top bunk, her face falling. Oh, I'll give you my bunk if you want, Tyrell. I was just going to take the top because the other acolytes never let me have it, but that wasn't what I was saying. Don't worry, Nia. The light will show a scoundrel like him the error of his ways soon enough. Jeremy pins Mal with a glare as sharp, sharp as his blade. I cannot decide whether it's it's you I want to throw overboard or myself. Guys, calm down. I have the perfect solution. Tyrell can...
No, he's not sleeping with me. Um, take the bench or stand watch. Take the bench. It's not the floor, and it's not a bunk, but a perfect middle ground. No stairs down at a tiny bench. I won't fit. My legs are too long. Ooh, look at me. I'm a fancy elf, and I'm so tall. Why you... I do not... That was not... Three pucks his head out of Neo's satchel and stretches his mouth wide in a deep yawn. If you don't mind, I could use a catnap and would much appreciate if you, if you would quit your squabbling. He leaps to the top bunk, curls up, and falls to right to sleep. Asleep. He has a point, you know. About sleeping? Yeah, I love it too. No, about squabbling. We need to work. We need to work on our teamwork if we're going to travel together. That means Mal and Tyrell will have to try to get along. Priestess, don't rain on my parade. Hmm. I'm perfectly capable of getting along with anyone who, who is able to act civil. Well, he'll be useful if we run into pirates, at least. He's even pricklier than they are. Will we run into pirates? Traveling merchants in Riverbent told horror stories about pirates attacking ships for loot and prisoners. Anthony, Flotilla is basically a bunch of pirate ships latched together. A city floating on the on the ocean will probably be will, will probably see pirates. I've signed souls over you as you will all think of the quest ahead. Nia sits beside Threep, swinging her legs over the side of the bunk. We're really we're really on our way to Flotilla. Maybe even to another shard. Can you believe it? We might be a ragtag team, but we escaped a Shadow Duke and his evil hounds, a corrupted mayor and his guards. Oh, I'm having trouble with the space on my laptop, guys. So, um, yeah, it. I might. If you guys notice that I skip that I skip something, yeah, it means I. It means it's dropped by itself. Yeah, this one might take a while. Don't forget we stole an onyx shard from right f from beneath said Shadow Duke's nose. We met Threep and we found ourselves safe patches over to the sea. We all turned to Tyrell whose lips twitched in amusement for just a second. You've also recruited yourselves a formidable ally skilled in weaponry and magic. Congratulations. Hey, we were talking about teamwork, and he only com complimented himself. Can he do that? Ahem. My catnap. <laughs> okay, okay. We get the message. You get your shut eye before the rest of us. The night's still young. Now leads you all on to the deck, but while he pulls Nia toward a table where soldiers play cards, Tyrell makes a beeline for the far railing. You follow him, mirroring in his posture. Sorry guys, it happened again. I'm so sorry. You follow him, mirroring his posture as he folds his arms over the railing and gazes up at the sky, he has a complex look on his face. It's awful, even haunted. Mind if I join you? Tyrell shrugs, glancing at you from the corner of his eye before returning to his stargazing. Can't stop you. Well, technically you probably could. A flash of your sword, a little magic, some that trademark skull. You see Tyrell's lips twitch for the second time. He visibly, he visibly, visib, struggles to stifle a smile. Fine, you got me. If I mind your company, I would ask you to leave. So, so I suppose you're welcome to join me if you enjoy looking at the sky. 
and if company seems to seems adequate and what uh, leave him to the start easily it's fine I can tell you you'd prefer your space kit help boy what are you all doing all the way over there funds this way Tyrell lets out a sigh, rubbing a hand over his face. Doesn't look like I'll be getting any space as long as I'm on a, this ship. All the better for teamwork and bonding. Come on, let's go see what this fun is. You and Tyrell join Mal and Nia at the at the card card table where you're quickly embroiled in the in the competition. Ha! Ah, the diamond crown trumps your golden chalice every time. What in the? <coughs> uh, my throat. Are you sure he isn't counting cards? Mal gathers his newly won coin and adds it to the pile. In front of him. Don't need to count, 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 lads. I'm just gifted. A gifted liar, maybe. Now come. Now come on, join. At the end of the next round, Tyros places a card on the table, then snarls at, as the sailor slaps one down over it with a whoop. How does your crystal cuppy beat my double-edged sword? Blade, cu blades cut fish. Blades rust in water. <coughs> oh my god, I'm sorry, excuse me. I'm chewing gum. Blades rust in water. And besides, the crystal is diamond. Diamond, eh? Perfect for my pirate chest. You slap down on on your card and everyone groans as you draw the pile of coin pile of coin closer Kay and I spent a few spent more than a few f evenings in the taverns gambling with the locals and I know my way around a card game be right back I need my jacket That's what I'm talking about. One more round. But Tyrell and I have run out of coin. Honor is not to be trifled. Hold a bet with. I know. This was not a trifle to bet with. I know that better than most. I agree. I'll sit this one out. I'll play on, and I'll bet my sword. You all gape at Tyrell. Tyrell, sorry. And then, Gernhard grins. Fine by me. I could earn a pretty penny for, the, for it with that. The round ends with the largest pot so far, and once everyone has played their cards, Tyrell slaps down a depiction of a stormy sky rent by lightning. Heaven's fury. I believe that makes me the victor. Elf boy, were you playing us the whole time? I was playing the game, and I happened to be quick be a quick learner. With a spark, Tyrell gathers up his coins, then dives ends it up and returns Nia with her near her original amount. Thank you, Tyrell. You played wonderfully. As the night wears on, Mal starts telling the tale of your escape from the temple of, of Alara. Before that idiot Earthax X knew what has happened, what was happening, we escaped with the loot, and plenty more besides. Nonsense. You're talking nonsense again. There's no way you went up against the, against the, against the Duke of the whatever. It was, it was you called... 
it was you called it and survived. I bet there was there never was a dupe. Never was a temple. Never was any loot. Even. It's all just made up stories. Face it. I can pull off just about anything. Isn't that right, Anthony? That's kind of stretch. Mal just gets lucky is all. Those thugs were two seconds from slitting his throat when we stopped when we showed up. Hey, but that's not how. Hey, but that's not how I remember. I'm pretty sure that's exactly how we remember. I think he probably trig triggered the spiky traps by accident. Miles was lucky we were there to distract our dude Earth Axe and save him. Huh. I figured his stories were all too good to be true. I've swingled I swindled kings and found lost cities. This is the thanks I get. You two are buying your own drinks from now on. Oh don't be like that. Suddenly a whip a wind whips up over the deck and clouds swirl overhead, blocking our blocking up the sun, night sky. The ship bucks and rocks beneath you as the sea turns choppy. Gods, what's happening? British yourselves looks like one of these infamous Cushing sequels. Who's supposed who's supposed to be on watch? Why didn't anyone sound the storm warning? Oh Jesus. A bolt of lightning cuts across the sky, followed by a diff clap of thunder. And the sky cracks open, dousing the deck with icy rain. Oh my gosh! A massive ray crashes crashes into the ship, spewing water over the deck. Mal lunges forward to catch your arm as the ship launches violently. Yeah, Kit, I got you. You get it? For now, not if this ship sinks. The crew slosses around, shouting and securing cargo. The mast groans, ominously as the sails whip every, whip every which way, getting tangled in the rig rigging. Captain, we've got to get the sails down before the wind shreds them. Then what are you doing running around like a bunch of highly livered land lovers? Somebody get up there and pull down, down my sails. I can pull down I can pull the sails down, Captain. I'm good at climbing things. Have you ever been on a ship before? Do you want your do you want help or not? The ship pitches sideways and Gerhard swears. He tosses you his dagger. Cut the rigging if you have to. We can replace the ropes easier than those sails. Aye aye, Captain. You grab hold of a of de of a dangling and rope and begin your climb. Gale force winds winds and trail of rain batter you from all sides, but your human agility keeps you from falling. This ship isn't work this ship isn't sinking on my watch. You see your way up to this crow's nest and you saw rig it with the captain's knife. Lightning slices through the sky and you feel an ominous crackle of static. Come on, come on. Finally, you slice through the rope, shaking rain out of your face. You ease your way back down the mast with the male still in tow. You did it, Kit. I thought you'd be, you you'd been fried by lightning for, for a second there. Well done, Skipper. Let's get you inside and dry you off. With Gernhardt beaming behind, you head... I knew you head back below deck. By by the next morning, the storm has abated, leaving the waters sparkling and serene. You make your way on deck, where your companions are having a tense conversation with the captain. I had no choice, lad. The eye is headed straight for the isles. What's going on? The storm blew us off course. <laughs> The storm blew us off course, and Gerhard wants to just sit here, bobbing, bobbing in the middle of the ocean, doing nothing. If we head toward the Shimmering Isles now, we'll be sailing right back into the storm's path. 
We have to wait, wait it out until it passes. But you said it might take a few days. That's so long. Great. Now we'll, now we'll be that much further behind the court. Kirill stalks away and Nia lets out a side and follows him from a moment later. Look over the water at a nearby chain of isles, tiny islands, judging, judging by the sparkling sea, bright sandy beaches dazzle in the sunlight as palm trees sway gender further inland. At least the scenery is nice. They call it the Forbidden Cove. Old sea dog legends say beautiful mermaids swim these waters. Looking for victims to lure in. Mermaids? For real? I've always wanted to see one. You sure about that? Because the mermaids rum aren't... Mermaids aren't, um... All happy and stuff. No, they are... You know, they eat... They will eat any, any human. You're welcome to head to the cove, if you like. Take one of your dingages... But if you get eaten by sea monsters, I'm adding the cost of your robo to your bill. This Rafin Coast sounds like my kind of place. A little bit of beauty and a, and a little bit of danger. And above all, fantastic company. That's assuming you'll join me, Anthony. And I'm feeling pretty good about that assumption. What do you say? A beautiful cove, some time to unwind, a chance to see a mermaid. Don't get me wrong, I'm in this for the mermaids, but someone's gonna gotta rescue you from the sea monsters too. And now, uh, if we did come across any sea monsters, you'd be more than grateful for my help. You and Mal climb into the deck, easily, and the crew lures you down, and easily maneuvers the oars through the sparkling water, bringing you close to the island. I would believe it was storming just a few hours ago. It's amazing how much in life can change in an instant. Tell me about it. One minute, I'm minding my own business, getting forced to open a chest at night point. The next thing I know, this crazy human crashes into my life. So, so I, so I saved you, and I'm the crazy one. At least admit that meeting in me was life-changing, in a good way. Well, let's see. Since I've met you, I've been accused of murder, hunted by legendary dis designates from the realm of shadows, forced to escape one of my biggest cities in the kingdom, aboard grumpy old Gerhardt's schooner. And now I'm sailing into an infamous pirate city of Flotilla, where I'm almost certain going to have my head on mounted on a spike. When you put it that way, all in all, it's been one better weeks of my life. You both laugh as, as the, the oars glide through the calm sea. Seriously, kid, I'm worried we had to meet the way we did, but you're all right. And your compliments continue to lack to be lackluster, but we'll work on that. As you approach the cave, the cove, you trail your fingers through the clear water, the content side, and you you feel something latched onto your wrist. Ugh, something's got me. Right, I'm definitely I'm definitely falling for that. Let me guess, it's a mermaid. No, it's. The grip around, around your wrist tightens, and when you try to pull it away, a massive tentacle creature 
burst out of the water. Blood squid? Not a mermaid. Definitely not a mermaid. Hang on, I got you. He cuts through the monster's arm and arm and frees you, but five other arms grab hold of Mal and start pulling him overboard. If they do something... How do I battle five arms at once? Oh, let him go. You grab, you grab Mouse Fallen Dagger and stab it into this blood squid's bull. I'm pretty sure that's an octopus, not a squid. How they blood octopus? It lets go of Mal as it writhes in the water. The two of you cling to the sides of the dingy as waves crash over you. We're gonna go overboard. Suddenly you hear a shout. It sounds not quite human, whether in a strange melody. Oh, it is a mermaid. Be gone, foul creature or of the deep. She's not wearing anything, okay. <sighs> Return to where you lay s to sleep. Did, did he just speak in rhyme? The mermaid swims around the blood squid, swinging her strange song. Singing, singing, and the monster stills. It bobs on the calming waters. Mm. The blood squid is stunned. Quick, frighten it off before it regains its senses. I'm on it. Draw your sword and slash at it across the blood squid's bulbous head. It lets out a streak and plunges beneath the water. Thank you, strangers. The beast was young. And we'll be too frightened to return now. The mermaid turns toward you, hair hair the color of seaweed glinting in the sun, faint luminous scales sparkling all over her body. This is a mermaid? You're a real mermaid. The legends are true. Kate would get such a kick out of this. Yeah, and he's gonna be disappointed that he missed out on everything since he was trapped in a since he's trapped in the shard right now the mermaid smiles softly and beckons you closer you lean over the side of the gingy toward her you're not luring me luring me to my watery grave or anything are you no i'm warning you violently defending my cove from that foul beast she knocks her head to the side lips purse expedient Oh man, this is great, kid. I think she wants a kiss. Oh well, in that case... Mm. Yes, I know my love interest is Nia, but this is a one opportunity. You cup the mermaid's cheek and lean forward. An electric charge runs through you as her soft lips meets yours, tingling every inch of your body, and she lets out a delicate purr. Mmm. Her lips are cool and she tastes like sunlight like, and seawater. Strangely toxicating. Toxicating. When she pulls away from you, she bats her eyes at. Are. Are we done already? The mermaid giggles and gives you one more quick kiss. Then she slips back into the water, her tail waving a flirty well before she disappears out to sea. Wow, that was... Wow. Over the sound of your dreamy sight, you hear a faint clapping. You turn to find Mal, watching you with an amused grin. They say it's good luck to get a mermaid's kiss, but I'm not sure they meant it it's quite like that. Don't don't you get jealous now. Mal rolls, rolls you up to the shallow beach, the water lapping gently at the shore, you look at the golden sand. It's the trees covering the sheer cliffs before you. It's beautiful. I've never seen anything like it before. Well, let's hurry and get to shore then. He yanks off his boat, his boots, then rolls up the cuffs of his trousers before jumping out into the knee high water. You hop out as well as well and help drag the boat onto shore. Tides head out, headed out 
We should be good to stay on the beach for a while, if you wanted to take a break. I say we deserve a little relaxation after fighting off a blood squid. It was an octopus. Let it go. Mouse stretches then waves back into the water and stands facing the ocean as the wave waves lap at his skin. You move back to dry sand on the beach and to sink down into it facing the sea. Careful, your easy pickings if any more sea monsters come prowling around. Mal turns and looks at you with a mischievous grin. Ah, but Gernhardt forgot to warn you about the land monsters. That's over your shoulder at the dense palm trees and rocky cliffs. Uh, you're just making that up. Right? Mal shrugs as he trudges through <coughs> the sand towards you. Only one way to find out, right? We sit and wait. He sinks down into the sand beside you and stretches his legs in the front of him. Gotta tell you, Kit, this is just the change of scenery I needed. What? What, getting attacked by a giant tentacled sea monster? A little danger beats scrubbing the decks of General... Uh, I said General. Gerdard's ship any day. I used to dream about this life, you know? Freedom, adventuring. Back when I was growing up in the slums of White Tower, that dreaming... It was got... It's what's got me through the days, the years even. He curls his fingers in the sand, reliving unspoken memories, hesitate for a moment, but then decide to ask him anyway. So you grew up in White Tower, too, just like Nia. Or does that count as asking about your past? Now let's uh, amuse chuckle. How about this, kid? I'll tell you what I want to share, when I'm ready to share it. And how are you feeling now? Given that you just got a blood squid off my back, I'll say a little generous. Next way, eyes on the horizon. Look, White Tower is a place of highs, high highs, and low lows. And we were pretty much at the bottom of this, but... Um, bottom of the the refuse heap. We. Do you mean your family? He's slowly lifting a hand and letting the sand stream stream through his fingers. It catches the light sparkling like the ocean. I don't remember much about my mother, just that she was too thin and too tired, worked too work too hard. She used to tell me the most amazing stories. But when she died, I saw them for what they were. Just fairy tales. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Losing a parent so young, well, I know how awful it is. His jaw tightens and he, you give him time to decide whether he, he wanted to keep talking. Finally, he lets out a breath. <coughs> I was all my little sister had left, but I, barely, but I was barely old enough to take care of her as we got shuffled from orphanage to, to orphanage. And then as soon as we were old enough to work, out we went, kicked onto the street, and with nothing but whatever we managed to steal. It was awful. I swore that once I clawed my way out of the, that I'd never be broke, desperate, or downtrodden again. <clears throat> Not to assume too much, but it seems to me like you succeeded. What did it take? Yeah, that's a rueful struggle. Shuckle. What? I got recruited by the Thieves Guild the minute I hit the streets. I was small and fast and made a and made a f made a fine pickpocket for a few days. A few days? What went wrong? I stole too much. <laughs> uh huh. Sounds to me like that. That mean you were doing things right from a pocket. I decided that I didn't t like sharing my take. 
<clears throat> sharing my take with this old guy who sat on his butt while us kids worked ourselves into exhaustion. I found out where the thief master stashed the goods, nicked my nicked half of it for myself, and made it halfway out of the city before I got caught. Did the thief master punish you? Nah, he promoted me. Wow. Glances down at his wrist, rubbing his hand over it distractedly as he pulled back into his memories. What about your sister? Are you sh still in touch with her? I checked on her now and then. I check on chicken. She managed to marry a respectable merchant woman. Oh, so she's that kind of girl. When she was just starting out, they run a bakery together in one of the decent parts of the town. Their honey almond sweets are are to die for. I'll take you sometime. I'll you do it. As something begins to set, you notice something shining while sh up beside you. Distantly, you hear the mermaid's enchanting melody. Mal, I think she left us something. You go down and pick it up. It's a shell? Uh, I think I hear something. You raise the shell to your ear and hear a faint call, a faint voice calling you, calling to you in a language you can't understand. What in the world? Mal, any idea what this shell is? Nope, but I bet we can find someone who's willing to pay for it. Roll your eyes, giving Mal a good natured shove. You keep a firm grip to, to the shell as you push the you met back into the water and Mal catches your eye. Hey Kit, thanks for coming out here with me. This was fun. His grin is easy and carefree, luring out a returning smile of your own. It was just the adventure I needed. Two days two long days pass, and finally the Sun Maiden resumes its journey toward the shimmering isles. Shouldn't be more than a few days now, mates. I hope you know what you're getting into. Nia sits on deck with three in her lap, staring at the sea as it wheezes past. Do we know what? Do we know what we're going? What we're doing? I don't know much about orcs. Nia stretches three behind his ear. I read a book all about about or this war strategy. Everyone speaks to, of them as menacing raiders, but they actually follow a strict honor code. Granted, they usually warred it with other orc clans, but now that Ventratal united them, they seem to be attacking elsewhere. Elsewhere being places where the shards have been, if the library was any indication. Ugh. Sounds, sounds like we're sure to s receive a warm welcome. Suddenly, horns blare out for the ship, sounding an alarm, Gerhard roars orders to his crew. All hands on deck! Two arms, you scab! You and Nia to the, run to the railing as Mal and Tyrell scamble up below from below deck. What's happening? Another storm? No. Out there on the horizon. She shallows, pointing out into the distance. You follow her gaze to a massive ship looming out of the sea, getting the sun on the Sun Maiden with impossible speed. Their flag. They're flying the Kraken. Pirates, but prepare for boarding. Boarding? They're coming onto our ship? You should get below deck, Priestess, and three p with and take three with you. This is gonna get ugly. The pirate ship cuts through the waves streaking at you like a missile. You see orcs oh no. Coming on deck, preparing harpoons and drawing blades. But it's one but it's one in particular that catches your eye. The water's the most dangerous looking of them all. Oh. Who is that? Before you can finish finish the thought, the pirate vessel pulls you, pulls up alongside your schooner and launches a flurry of harpoons general below 
Fight like your lives depend on it, you dogs, and don't give up on my ship. The harpoon lines pull taunt. The orcs rapple over. One lands before you, banishing two swords. Hmm. You don't look like a big deal. I'll make this quick. She slashes at you with a thorn war cry, and you barely duck out of the way in time. Not a big deal, huh? I'll make you eat those words. You draw your sword and parry her strikes with ease. With lightning fast motions, you duel her backwards toward the ship's railing. Saltwater, why did you learn learn to fight like this? Oh, a little town called Riverbent. You've probably never heard of it. With a final floor, flourish, you disarm her of both blades at once, then land a kick square in the stomach. In her stomach, she topples over the railing. Pirates and Gunhart's crew clog the deck, their shouts filling your ears. The air is already already thick with the smell of blood. Suddenly you hear a scream. If any help A hulking orc has Nia pinned against her cabin, three pisses from her shoulder swiping at the air. Stay back. He's close and take out an eye. Looks like I've found myself a damsel in distress and her little pet cat. Get away from her. You pick you pick up a wooden piece of rubble and chuck it at the orc. It hits the back of his head and he slowly turns around. You'll regret that. He lumbers towards you, shaking the entire deck. You take a step back, but bump into a pile of barrels behind you. You lower your head and run forward with a shout. The orc smashes into you, sending you flying backwards. You roll over the deck, bruises forming over your entire body. Ouch! Ouch! Sailors, stand down! And everyone over the fight and everyone looks over to see him in the middle of the deck an armor silhouette looms behind him holding an axe to his throat good call captain especially since i've got those trained on this diligently you go call the ship she points toward toward her ship where a line in, of enormous wooden cap bolts are pointed right at the sun maiden mal elbows tyrell so Elf boy, you, uh, got any magic to that didn't stop a catapult? Most definitely not. Mal tosses down his blade. We surrender. As the pirate leader grins, her crew makes its way through the ship, rounding up the Sun Maiden's mo modest crew and dragging you to the center of the deck. Let me go. I can walk fine on my own. We don't mean any harm, I swear. Oof. Watch the wings, you brutes. You'll regret this. I have some very powerful friends in the Royal Navy. The Royal Navy? If you think they're, you think they're a threat, you must not know who I am. My, the name's Im Imtura? Old man, and your cargo is now mine. As for the rest of you, don't make any funny moves, and I might spare your... Amira spins around at the defeating blow from the horns. What's your crew playing at, old man? Captain, something else is trying to board. Now what? Something heavy hits the side of the Sun Maiden with a thunk. A giant webbed hand appears on the railing, followed by another, and together they hoist you up. What is that? Gobta grobtar? Grobtars. Curse the seas, now of all times. Everyone grab a weapon, now. Pirates versus... Pirates versus sailors versus grobtars. Who will win, and how will you ever get to Flotilla? Ugh, why you gotta end it right there? <sighs> oh well, we'll continue this on Thursday. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Sorry if, sorry if I'm a little slow because I just screamed because the because my, my recording stopped automatically, even though I technically stop it myself, but it stops automatically sometimes. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Share this with your friends. Comment below what you think of the video. If you want to get notified of all the videos I put up on my channel, hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. I'll see you all in the next video.